welcome back to Monday is post show hangover day. Everyone is exhausted and so sore, you guys. Didn't post a lot about the work involved in long horse shows, like the taking the horses to the barn, the setting up the barn, the dismantling everything from the barn and bringing everything home. Like everything is a mess. Oh man, you've been rolling, rolling. Basically, Last night when we took everything down, we had to clean all the stalls, obviously, and it was so much work. We had eight horses from our barn at the show. There you go. One, two, and <laughs> I put you far away. Over here, not in the door because they'll chase you. Three. Anyway, it is true. Shoot, I did that wrong. I was supposed to feed them in their stall. See, I'm hungover from the horse show. So much sun, so much excitement. The derby, we watched the derby. It was so amazing. Our friend came in third like that, like a thousand dollar derby, so fun. But anyway, welcome to today's video. We have a lot to do today. We really wanna go see Chance because we haven't seen him for a few days and we miss him. Joe you know, and Finn were at the show. Come on. Finn had uh, his debut jumpers. He did jumpers. I think he did hunters too. But we weren't watching that. We were like spending time with our friends. Anyways, I have a laundry up to here and I have grass up, up to here. So it's going to be a busy day. But I'm exhausted. We're all exhausted. So we're just going to see how today goes. I can figure out how to take these horses out by myself now that I screwed up. Bed. Bed, Ruby. So essentially, I feed them in their stalls in the morning, and then I can brush them and take them out, pick their feet one at a time. But, uh, I just don't think that's gonna happen today because I uh, screwed up. So pray for me. Straight to your stalls and nowhere else. See, I screwed up, they're confused. They don't know what to have, what's happening. Straight to your stall. Nope, see, I knew it. Ugh, she, they know what to do. She knows she's going outside. Oh God, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. I don't know why I tried. Whoa! Okay, listen. You get in there. Come on, get in there. Don't go in there. Come on, come on. I'm doing sign language. All right, so this is not gonna go well. You better get out of there, Gracie, before you get hurt. Oh God, you're an eagle in yourself. Oh, I'll go back out there. This was a disaster. Oh my God. The clue, the trick to fixing chaos is to just remain calm. Just remain calm and it all worked out. I'm just gonna take you outside in a second. Three brushed ponies in the field, you guys. After a little tiny miss, after a little tiny misstep, after a little tiny misstep, I got them all. All three, no problems. Everybody behaving, all plugged in, ready for their morning. You guys, Sophie's new job on the farm is to cut the grass. And this is what she did. She did it today. And also this side. She cuts it. Like even up there by the road. She cuts all of it. All herself. It's actually freezing outside. It is time to unpack the horse show crap. Gabby's supposed to be here. But she disappeared. Whenever. Oh here she comes. Alright. Here it goes. Gabby, do you want to keep this, any of this stuff here or like keep it in the car for the barn? Like what do we take to the barn? You need your book, your boot bag to the barn? My spray. My shoes have to go to the barn. All right, well, let's take this baby out. Does this have to go to the barn? Yeah, that has to go to the barn. Take the food out. Take the food out of it? How much food do we have? Partial food. Out that's not the pack trunk. All right, well, just wait. Why don't you? We're taking the pack trunk out. All right. Why don't you? Oh my God. Um, why don't you put whatever you need from this? 
this bag into your tack trunk. Which one of these are bug spray? The black one. Oh, I also think it's the, uh... hang on. Hold up. So that can go back in. I don't know, we don't even know what any of our stuff is. This is fly spray. We have to smell it all. No, then you packed. Because my thing of this is missing. So I think you packed. This is my spot remover. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it is like literally, this is what your car looks like after a horse show. You've got your shoes. Is this the saddle pad that we didn't use or we used? Let me see. We used that one. This is the one that fits? Oh, how did it get all? What's that on it? Look, at the black. What's that? Uh, that is from sweat and dirt from the girth. Sweat and dirt from the girth. Wow. So your boot bag and your helmet can stay in here. You guys remember when I put like a nice little thing back here to store all of our tack stuff in it? All the like stuff I use for shows, like grooming stuff and all that stuff. Yeah, it didn't last long because when we go to shows like go to Gabby shows, I have to bring so much other stuff. I can't carry that in here. Like, so it didn't work out. Sophie cuts all this grass too. Every time I say go outside and cut the grass, I say, Sophie, go out there and cut it. And she does. Here's Sophie's new hat. All right, are we ready? packed didn't we we packed all this stuff you guys and we hardly used any of it we don't need to unpack so the problem is is that technically we don't need to unpack because we're just going back again at the same time Sophie has Sophie has a show not Sophie has a show in two weeks so I don't even know like I don't even know what is in here that we need. So, so anyway, we're going to figure it out later. We're leaving no, it packed. She, she just needs her things because she's riding a different horse. Yeah. She's riding Denver, right? Yeah. She just needs her things. Okay. So you say we leave it packed for the next show? Like we literally used a few things and then just left it completely packed. The braider had all her own stuff. And then Brandon had so much stuff that, that we used of his. And then like our barn, we're so used to doing like most of the show stuff ourselves, bringing like everything that we need that we packed everything. And then when we got there, our coach had packed everything too, because he came with a team. He brought a whole team and we ended up not needing anything. We always like, so we put stuff on Chino's legs after he's done riding. So we use that kind of stuff. Like stuff from our grooming box. Put stuff in his feet to cool him down and to like make him feel better after a long day of showing. The thing that we used the most, you guys, was the hose because it was so hot. Sun Sunday when he showed it wasn't nearly as hot, but Saturday especially, like we spent a lot, we spent the big, the most thing that we did was shower him a lot. Penny's like, yeah, I missed you all. I missed you yesterday. Did you miss us yesterday, Penny? I love that my horse just stands to be brushed, always. I wanted to go see Chance today. I said no because Gabby and I both voted no because early we're just so exhausted today. We're, like I said earlier, we are horse show hungover. Just so much happened. We were busy so much and out in the sun and just like doing so much. Gabby, what was your favorite thing about the long horse show? She liked having her friend there. So you guys know that Kate from Barn Boots and Country Roots was there. She came to support Gabby and then soon we'll be supporting her at her show. Always so much better when you have a friend there. Okay, what was the worst thing about the long horse show? Three day horse show, what was the worst thing? Waking up super early. We had to wake up super early, it was awful. So uh, somebody asked like, how come you guys had to get up at 3 a.m.? We had to get up at 3 a.m. because Gabby's division was at 7.30. Or if your horse show is early in the morning or like one of the first divisions, you have so much to do. Like you have to go there, you have to uh, clean your horse, you have to clean your stall, you have to, it's freezing in here. 
you have to get ready, you have to warm up, you have to like go with your coach, school your horse, you have like, there's so many things that you have to do. I always like to make sure that we have extra time so that we're not late. And so we always go early. We had to wake yeah. up at three. Yeah. Another thing I love about that show is that, and I said it a whole bunch of times already, is that, that uh, where your horse is is here and where your show is is here. So there's not like a lot of walking, a lot of getting going from place A to place B. I love that. Walking back to your car is really easy and fast. So you could like store a lot of stuff in your car and it's just right out, outside the door. Anyway, I, we loved it. We had such a fun time. But the next show, who's having the next show? Gabby. Nope, you. Oh, me. All right, our newest cowgirl. No. Nope, they don't like hats. Put it back on Penny. Penny looked what so cute. Crazy. We put it on everybody and everybody knocked it off. I knew Gracie would keep it on. So she's that kind of a horse. Okay, put it on Penny again. Penny looks so cute because she's black and white. And it's a black and white hat. <laughs> Pins her ears. <laughs> That's the mayor stare if I ever saw one. That would have been so cute though. Cute girl. I love this pony. It's time to cut the hay. Almost all of our friends have already cut their hay, you guys. The problem is, is that every time we look at the weather, it says it's gonna rain and it's been like raining. We need like a good three or four days to cut hay. I'm gonna try and show you guys my favorite chicken. There he is. I'm going to try and catch him. He's throwing, or she, I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. Just wait. So I have this chair that I sit out here and I watch the chickens. I just sit here all day and watch our chickens. What do you guys think? I'm pretty sure she's a hen. But then the other day, she got these feathers on her butt. Show me the feathers on the butt. And I was worried. I was worried that she was getting saddle feathers. I thought for sure she was getting saddle feathers and then I thought, oh no, she's a rooster, but I really want to keep her. I just love her. But do you see like how her feathers up here are really rounded? See, like, see how the bottom of them are really rounded? I think that means that she's going to be a girl. I'm pretty sure that she's going to be, I, I'm pretty sure she's a girl. I'm super interested to see what you chicken ladies have to say, but I'm pretty sure she's a girl. And then this is Sophie's. I think it's a boy. It's a girl. Let's see. Let's see her feathers at the top of her. Whoops. Let's see her feathers. She's a chipmunk. So it's an Easter egger. See the big puffy cheeks. Do you want to know why I'm keeping her? Why are you keeping her? Because she's my chicken. But what if she's a boy? If she's a boy, she's not staying. What do you guys think? Boy or girl? Anyway, that is it for today's video. And I know it was kind of light and we didn't do much today. We spent a lot of time cleaning and getting ready to be away from the house all day tomorrow so that we can go and be with our boys. Gabby wants to do some stuff on Chino. He's gonna have a few days off, obviously. To wipe him down with this stuff that she puts on him after she rides him. I found a good horse game I want sore, nor, sore no more or something. And she packs his feet with this other stuff. This nice putty stuff that's like really refreshing and cool for his feet. And she did that, but she wants to do it again tomorrow. And she wants to like just check on him and make sure that he's okay. So she wants to do that again. And we want to see Chance. We want to try the saddle again. And and we want to do like so many things at the barn. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?